besides the expenditures that you incur to help you generate revenue, the kind of expenditures which we call expenses, there are those expenditures that may be incurred by the owner of the business for their own personal use and these expenditures have nothing to do with business operations. These expenditures are called drawings. So how do we deal with drawings as far as double entry is concerned? Of course, when drawings are incurred or when the owner of the business withdraws money for personal use, we are going to make what we call a drawings account and we are going to debit the drawings account. But I would like to explain why we debit the drawings account. Why do we debit the drawings account? Look at it this way. At the beginning of any business, the owner is going to get money and inject into the business. When the owner gets money and injects into the business, this money this owner has injected into the business ceases to be his money. There is what we call the business entity concept. It simply serves to show that the business and the owner have a separate identity. They are not the same. So it means that if the owner of the business gives the business money, that is money for the business. It is supposed to help the business generate revenue. So if the owner of the business gets money from the business and uses that money for activities that have nothing to do with the business, or in other words, in this case, when the owner gets money from the business and he uses this money for personal use, it's interpreted as though that the owner has withdrawn part of their capital. With that kind of background now, it means that drawings, when drawings are incurred, they reduce on the owner's initial capital that he had put in, since he's using that money for other things, for personal use. So in this case, uh, we explore the double entry for capital, and we say that uh, when capital is injected into the business, the capital account is credited. In other words, increases in capital is credited, and decreases in capital are debited. So meaning that if we incur drawings, it would mean that capital is reducing, and so if we were dealing with the capital account, it would mean that we would just go ahead and debit the capital account. That would be the appropriate thing to do. But to avoid cluttering the capital account with a lot of transactions, instead we create what we call the drawings account. And when we create the drawings account, instead of debiting the capital account, we debit the drawings account. So there are just two illustrations that I'm going to do to get you see this visually, and we shall call it a video. So let's get started with, let's say we have drawn out cash. Let's look at this transaction. The transaction says that on 20th March, um, on 20th March, the owner takes 50,000 cash out of the business for his own use. Now, of course, when the owner takes cash out of the business for his own use, uh, that's called a drawing, like I have been explaining earlier. So what do drawings do? Drawings reduce capital. So the understanding here would be mean that, yes, the person drew cash out of the business. So number one, cash in the business has reduced so the cash account is supposed to reduce and so because the cash account has been reduced the other item that has been affected is capital because the capital has also reduced and uh, so we instead we would go ahead and debit capital because decreases in capital are debited but like I had been exp like I've already explained instead of doing capital instead we open up what we call a drawings account and so instead of having debited the capital account instead we shall go ahead and debit the drawings account so it means for that transaction the items affected like i've already said is a drawings account and cash account and of course uh, the cash in the business is going to reduce and so uh, and the drawings account will increase so we shall uh, definitely credit the cash account with 50,000 and go ahead and complete the double entry by debiting the drawings account with 50,000. I emphasize we debit the drawings account as a substitute for having debited the capital account since drawings reduce capital. Most business owners 
Sometimes don't just withdraw cash for personal use. Sometimes it is good. So let's look at a scenario whereby, let's say you are managing a shop and you are selling food and the owner gets this food out of the shop and takes to his home. That is also considered a drawing because the owner of the business is withdrawing assets from the business for his own personal use. That's also a drawing, only that this time the drawing is not in form of cash, it's in form of goods. So how do we handle this kind of double entry? Let's look at this example. Uh, on March 20th, the owner takes 400,000 worth of goods out of the business for his own use. Of course, when he takes this out for his own use, the two accounts that have been affected here, we have drawings and definitely we have purchases. The drawings account is going to increase and the purchases account is going to reduce. Now, remember purchases are goods that you have bought to be resold. Uh, goods that are meant to be resold are called purchases and increases in purchases are debited. So if we are making drawings, it means that we are reducing on the goods that we are supposed to resell. So reduction in um, these goods, the purchases will instead credit. So that's why when drawings are made, in such a where goods are withdrawn by the owner for personal use, we shall go ahead and credit the purchases account and go ahead and debit the drawings account. And that's the double entry that, that relates to drawings when it comes to when drawings are in form of cash and when drawings are in form of goods. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Check out other awesome accounting lectures on the channel. My name is Arnold Rangakuramia and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.